Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Disney Fairies, A Game of Hide and Seek, by Tennant Redbank and illustrated by the Disney Storybook Artists. This book was published by Disney Press in 2009. Pixie Hollow was quiet and still. No fairy wings fluttered. No fairy voices filled the air. Where had all the fairies gone? Suddenly, along came Tinkerbell. She flew alone over a garden. Tink pulled up close to a tall tulip. Rosetta peeked out from behind some petals. They were playing a game of fairy hide-and-seek, and Tinkerbell was it. Tinkerbell still had to find so many fairies. There were Ronnie and Bess, Nettle and Fira, Dulce and Terence, Silvermist, Iridessa, and Fawn. Beck was usually easy to spot. She couldn't stay still for long. But Priya was very good at hide-and-seek. It might take Tink a while to find her. Tinkerbell looked behind a spiderweb. She checked under a pine cone. She peeked into a knot hole. Then she saw a bright light. It was shining from behind a leaf. Only one fairy glowed that brightly. Fira! Tink yelled. Tink pulled the leaf back. There she was. You found me, Fira said, giggling. Tink couldn't stay to talk. She had other fairies to find. Tink flew over the meadow. She stopped short. She sniffed the air. She smelled lemons. Tink followed her nose. Right to Dulcie, a baking talent fairy. Dulcie was hiding near a patch of clover. The lemon cake she had baked that morning gave her away. Tink left the meadow and started searching again. Bright blue footprints crossed her path. The footprints led over some pebbles and down to the river. There, Tink saw Bess hiding among the pussy willows. How did you find me? Bess asked. Tink pointed to the art talent fairy's feet. The bottom of her shoes were covered in blue paint. Oh, drat, Bess exclaimed. I spilled some paint in my room today. I must have stepped in it. Tink found silver mist behind a rain spout. She found fawn in a bird's nest. Iridessa was trying to blend in with the fireflies. Nettle was hiding in an old cocoon. Tinkerbell still had not found all her friends. She flew to the mermaid lagoon. There she saw water flowing from a large stone sitting on dry ground. Tink fluttered around the stone. On the other side, she found Ronnie, a water talent fairy. Ronnie was playing with a water ball. I got you, Tink shouted. Ronnie jumped. She was startled. She dropped the water ball. It burst into a hundred droplets. Then Ronnie pulled all the drops back together again. She threw the water ball at Tink. Tink sprang out of the way. Hey, Tink yelled. We're playing hide and seek, not fairy tag. Tink had a game to finish, so she flew into the woods. I can't believe I haven't found Beck, she said. Up ahead, she saw a flash of color. Tink flew closer. It was a red spotted toadstool. But wait. Something was behind it. Maybe it was Beck. It wasn't Beck, but
but it was a red-headed fairy in a green cap. Priya, Tink shouted. Tink told Priya who she had already found. Then Priya cried out, Tink, look! A beetle floated right in front of their noses, upside down. It sparkled with fairy dust. Tink and Priya followed the trail of fairy dust. Fairy dust makes fairies fly, and beetles too. They flew until they saw a silly sight. Terence, a fairy dust talent sparrow man, was trying to pull beetles from the air. Tink, Priya, help! Terence cried. I was hiding in a little hole. A bunch of beetles found me and got into my bag of fairy dust. Priya stayed to help Terence. Tink still had more fairies to find. Who was left? Tink settled on a lily pad to think for a bit. She had found Terence and Priya, Fawn, Iridessa, Rosetta, Nettle and Silvermist, Dulce, Ronnie, Fura, and Bess. The only fairy she had not found was Beck. Tink flew off again. She looked and looked, then she asked the other fairies for help. They all joined in. They explored every garden. They searched over the meadow and the lagoon and the fairy dust mill. Where in Pixie Hollow was Beck? Tink tugged at her bangs. She was stumped. Beck was usually the easiest fairy to find. Today, Beck was not just an animal talent fairy. She was a master hider. Tink was about to yell, Come on out, Beck! But before she did, a soft sound reached her ears. It seemed like a breath, or a whisper, or a snore. Tink followed the noise. It was coming from a hollow log. She poked her head inside. There she found Beck curled up with a family of hedgehogs. Wake up, sleepyhead, Tink sang out. Beck opened her eyes and yawned. You found me already? Beck asked. Already? Tink cried. I've been looking for hours. Beck, you are the last hide-and-seek fairy. I am? Beck asked. How nice! She rolled over. She snuggled back in with the hedgehogs. Soon, Beck was asleep again. Tink sighed. Beck and the hedgehogs looked so cozy. Tink pushed Beck over a little. She was tired after all that looking. Maybe a little nap. Only for a minute or two. Just before Tink's eyes closed, she heard a voice call. Tink? Beck? Where are you? Another game of hi fairy hide-and-seek had begun. The end. Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow us for new episodes posted daily.